That's ridiculous. Let's get them pieces of steak up there. Let's get a little more of that up there. All that up there. Look at that. Oh my Watch gosh. This. So I'm gonna take my knife. Can y'all see that okay? And I'm gonna cut from an angle down, see? Look at that, took that whole side off without cutting the C pod. So when it comes to cutting peppers, look at the pepper. The seed pod's gonna be like that inside there. So if you cut that on an angle, you won't even cut the seed pods. Rip on whatever I'm cutting. And I'm just drilling in these guys because I'm gonna palm them. So here's what we're gonna do with the steak. We're letting it come up to room temperature. It's just a New York strip, wouldn't it? And we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna season him up with mad seasoning. But don't be shy with your mad seasoning. Go all over the sides of it. See that? Now look at this steak. That's what you want your steak to look like once it's been seasoned all over. All right, got these onions caramelizing. So now I'm just gonna add some balsamic vinegar and a bunch of sugar. And I'm gonna stir all that up. I'm done with my sugar and I'm done with my vinegar. I'm gonna go put them both away. I made this little oven, it's really cool. I placed the stack and I'll just put that there and that joker's gonna get high. That's the sound of freedom. Rob Livingston. We used to fly those ones out. Wasn't like it. Alright, y'all look, the sauce for this is super simple. It's a, it's a sweet horseradish cream sauce. So what I need is that I just put away because I'm cleaning as I go. Hmm. I'll be All right, right back. We're back. If you hear gunshots, it's okay. We're out in the country. You hear them gunshots? All right, so we're making this sweet horseradish cream sauce, and it's four ingredients, five. It's uh, the main ingredient. Start using Duke's mayonnaise. I really like it. Uh, it is sour cream. Sour cream. It's uh, sugar. It is horseradish. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever tried horseradish, but it is the best horseradish. Take a look at it. Kelsner's horseradish. Difference maker. And then, of course, mad seasoning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, let me get a little bowl here so I can show you what I'm doing. So what we're gonna do is we wanna start with the mayonnaise because that's the biggest ingredient, the most. Uh, put some of that in there. All right, so we've got a little bit of Duke's mayonnaise. I'm gonna put, I'll put two tablespoons of that in here. Put two tablespoons of cream cheese. In there like that I like to put a good of the horseradish in there because I like it to be spicy and then I'm gonna put some sugar in there because it's a sweet horseradish cream sauce and when y'all figure yin and yang when y'all figure out that yin and yang you're getting somewhere and you're cooking and there it is there's your horseradish cream sauce. And now I'm just gonna mix it up in this little bowl. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Man, it smells good. Wish I could ch try it. Done. This is what I like to cook my steaks on. It's a cast iron Dutch oven lid. See, it's got the handle and everything on there. That's what I'm gonna cook the steak on. I'm gonna clean up a little bit with a little salt and oil. Then we'll be jacked up cast iron pan, put a little oil in it, and put a little salt in there. And that's going to be my scouring agent. Watch this. So there's little rust spots. Just take the towel. I'm just going to take them right off. And it's going to get that oil into the pan, too, which is good. I'll show you when it's camera operation. And then all I'll do is take that water and rub it right in there. Look how pretty that is. Ah! 
I need an assistant. One of the cool things about cast iron, I mean, look at the pan now. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna get it on the heat and we're gonna cook a steak. I think I'm making a Philly steak and cheese. I think that's the plan. that steak look good look at that y'all out here in the woods at the cedar cabin and wait till you hear the sound i love this sound right here that's room temperature beef mad seasoning on a screaming hot piece of cast iron in about four minutes i'll give it a turn wait till you see that that piece of meat, all of the capillaries are being seared. So it's gonna crust up. It's called the, I think you pronounce it Maillard effect. I'm not too good at patience. But that's how you get a good sear. Oh, here comes the sound of freedom again. Where are they at? They're about to fly right over our head. Yep. Look right through the trees there, y'all. See them right there? See them? Look at that. That's a jar right there. Holy mackerel, y'all. Can you see how crunchy that is? That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And then I'm gonna do it on the sides. That's gonna be some good eating. Look at that over there. That there is a seared piece of meat. I'm gonna let her rest, and then we're gonna cut her up. Right, let's get the rest of this sandwich set up. So I got a big old roll. I think I'm gonna use about three quarters of it. Cut that with my bad knife. I'm gonna cut him in half, like that. I'm gonna go all the way through. And I'm gonna take this and put it on that same cast iron that had the, the, the original peppers, that griddle. It had butter and peppers, and I'm just gonna put them down on like that. That there is just butter that cooked with peppers. So I'm gonna put that on there, and I'm gonna let them rolls toast a little bit. Here we go. And there we go. So we've let it rest now. Y'all ready to see something heavenly. Look at that, y'all. I don't know if you can see that, but it is freaking gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Perfect, y'all. Perfect, 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 perfect. And then finish it. A little finishing mad. Boom. This is so much fun, y'all. You got a music? Background. Are you mad? Look for these shirts. They'll be coming out this coming week. On the back it says, you make a difference. It's me. Look at this. That's a perfectly cooked steak. Mid-rare, seared on the outside, super juicy, crunchy on the outside. Just heavenly. Cast iron is the way to go when it comes to cooking steaks. Mm, I wish you could take a bite. Have a great day, y'all. Cook like a rock star from the Little Cedar Cabin.
part two. Look at these guys. Oh lord. Extreme steak and cheese. That's a steak and cheese, y'all, right there. Look at that thing. It's ridiculous. Let's get them pieces of steak up there. Let's get a little more of that up there. All that up there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Can you believe that? Look at that steak and cheese, y'all. Make sure I don't drop it. Wouldn't that be awful? On camera too. Dude made this cool steak and cheese, but he dropped it all over the ground. Five second rule. Mm. It's gonna be ridiculous, y'all. So we got a, a roll all cheese dough. That's that sweet horseradish cream sauce, and it's going on top of that guy. Right there. This sandwich yes. is something else. Check it out, y'all. Mr. Jim's is good, but this is different. It's just on a different level. Wow! So good.